This is Matt with MetalMath.net. I'm here at UK Tech Fest with No Sinovators Gays. Hi, guys. Hi, Hello, how, how are you? Doing? Are you all feeling uh, fine and dandy this fine morning? Rather uh, chipper. Uh, <laughs> dandy, maybe not, but fine is okay. Yeah. I think you're fine. <laughs> okay, so we're playing Question Roulette. Um, do you want to pick a number between 1 and 56? And 17. Um, curating festivals is becoming more popular these days. You're now curators, so you've got to pick three headline acts for a weekend festival. Who do you choose? Ooh, any level. Any level you like. Uh, wow, for like an ultimate metal festival. Ah, oh, that's quite hard. Um, I'd love to see they are no Whitechapel. Whitechapel would be a good headliner. Uh, who else? Who would be good? Who would you pick? For me, big, uh, big, big. For, for me, well, I'd, I'd, I'd for me it'd be a prog thing, wouldn't it? So, yeah. So, for me, it'd probably be. Okay. Ooh, that, that could be a good chat. I was thinking more. Um, one of them would definitely just for my own fanboy sake have to be Haken. And Haken. Then, and yeah, then, they're really a headliner though, Haken. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Whitechapel, Haken. This is a very, very weird festival so far. Let's throw, let's throw in a weird one just for shits and giggles. A weird uh, one. Yeah. Who's like a weird one? A weird one. Ooh. Pendulum under Whitechapel. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's an Maybe interesting, interesting choice. Pendulum with Whitechapel. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Whitechapel. Whitechapel, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you guys want to pick another number? Ooh. 34. Let's go up in 17. <laughs> Metal. Or boobies, and why? Oh, can we not have both? This depends what mood I'm in. Uh, sometimes metal, sometimes boobies. But I think overall, I'm afraid boobies have to win. Boobies have given ah. me more sustenance than metal. So generally, I think that's something that I would metal, have to... The thing is, metal, metal is in batshit insane and won't let you down and won't ruin your life. But, but boobies will. So, uh, I don't know. For, st- for my own mental stability, probably metal. But for my sheer kind of like hormonal mess that I am, uh, boobies. Sticking with the sustenance thing. It's got me far. It's All right, you know, boobies. It's unanimously boobies. <laughs> we sell out. We put boobies. Yeah. Cool. Now, yeah, another number, please. 20. When you perform, are you you, or do you take on a persona for the stage? Absolutely take on a persona. I think, like, you can... Uh, before you go on stage, you can be what, whoever you want to be, and after you can be whoever you want to be. While you're on stage, you genuinely have to believe that you are the shit. Because I think I think they can see through it if you don't. When you really have to have confidence in what you're doing, and kind of, uh, especially if it's heavy music, you really have to kind of get involved with the whole kind of evil side of it. If you really want it to come across, I think for me that the gigs where I've been kind of not not quite as good as the gigs where I've really kind of uh, the sober thing. It's it's, from man have to have confidence. Yeah, big time. Um, I mean, for me, I like to try and just I just come out my shell a bit more. and I just try and pull funny faces and, and just so you basically yeah essentially essentially but just a, bit, a bit more grr it's maybe it's maybe not a completely different persona it's more of an exaggerated version yeah. of, your, of your kind of confidence I guess another number um, eight. number eight um, what would you ask for on a rider if you could get away with it <laughs> drugs <laughs> I think that's my answer. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably dip into his rider. Yeah, I think we both, we, we both pick drugs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Big bag of drugs. A big bag of drugs. Except they wouldn't be labelled. It would be like a, a kind of pick and mix. Yeah. Mystery bag. Yeah, yeah, pick and mix. And you would just take one and see what happened. The responsible as we are. Thank, thank God I'm a first aid trained individual. <laughs> thank God. Responsible person. Which isn't much help if you're high as hell. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. The thing is, you can probably write some decent songs on that, as we would have no idea to do. Yeah, it, it, it would be interesting. We definitely haven't just... written some of our songs on speed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, definitely not. They, they, they didn't hear have the, the song sincerity song. in that your would, voice. That would just be silly. That would. That would be irresponsible and immature. It would definitely wouldn't turn out to be a fantastic song that's probably my favourite on the album. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, song, what song is that definitely not? Uh, it's definitely not Roll of the Royalty, which lyrically is also about drugs. So it was only fitting that we didn't take a lot of speed before we played it. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> essentially. This is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, another number. Um, 30. Who would win in a fight? Mashuga or No Sinovators Gaze? Um, the thing is, 
over. Mm, I don't know, because our drummer is gripped and hedged as hell, yeah, and, our, and our bassist is just a mo. It's just a behemoth of a man. <laughs> he is a gargantuan human being that would pummel and destroy it all in his path. So, but they are from Sweden. They are a bit weird. <laughs> and, and Jens is a monolith. Yeah. No, I think I think Miss Sugar would try some dirty tactics though. I think they had some kind of weird like black magic thing going on, or they kind of. Uh, they kind of put trip wires everywhere, and we just want to go full on aggression. So I think Meshuggah would win, but they wouldn't do it kind of cleanly. <laughs> Them dirty bastards. Another number. Hmm. Number twelve. Do you have any uh, sort of special items, little charms that you like to take on tour with you for luck? Uh, Moisturiser. <laughs> <laughs> for the purposes of moisturising. <laughs> Mainly <laughs> um, my bass. That's kind of that's kind of uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that helps if you're going on tour, really. No, have, you got, have you got your lucky charm? Your bass. Yeah. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Right. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I have little things that I take with me to kind of out of necessity. I'm much better what you on. I need my. I need to stay connected to things. I walk out into the world and look at things and say, well, how can I possibly like that? Or how can I unfollow that? Or how can, <laughs> how can I unfriend that? You know. Nobody wants to unfriend a tree, but you need to kind of you need some a plant in the digital world. <laughs> but mainly moisturizer. No, the, yeah, there's, there's not really anything that I have that's uh, that I take with me is like a, a, a ritualistic. Um, just just try and put the best show I can and just feel that really like metal people with nice skin. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Endorsed by Nivea. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. What number is that on the list? Are you in the list? Another number. Uh, 29. Have you ever had a fight on stage? Uh, no. I haven't had a fight though. <laughs> Backstage? No. Oh, well, mm, it's not really a fight. I had a kind of an altercation with a sound guy in Scotland where uh, we all used the same rig, but for some reason, because we were English. Our rig sounded a lot, lot, lot worse on stage. So I just blew up at the sound guy. I mean, like, he was a, he was a really nice person. I got, I got massively into his face and you know, shit kicked off. I didn't actually hit anyone yet. Although, if there is a fight backstage, it'll probably be Moat hitting me. Probably. Yeah. I mean, I've, 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 no, I've, I've never gotten a fight. I mean, I've been, I've been biffed with certain things that have gone on. And, I, I, you know, I've, I've had words with people, but I've never, I've never had a fall on. Uh, a full on fight. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't look good. It's not professional. No, you know what? Yeah, gigs and metal festivals and shit are not the place for that kind of animosity. It's, it's nice where everyone gets on. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a really tight, tightly knit scene as well. Yeah, you know, so we want to try and just get along and try and just have the best time we possibly can when we're doing these things. You know, I fucking hate you. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Another number then. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. If cash ceased to exist, what would you take as payment for shows? Berries. Any specific type? No, just any form of berries. Well, I mean, commodities you can actually spend, like, kind of, well, you actually need, like, food and kind of water and stuff. But I would also happily accept drugs still. <laughs> <laughs> our rider will be drugs, our payment will be drugs. You know, just give us some drugs, please. I'm, I'm just happy with berries, really. Drugs and berries. <laughs> but mainly drugs. Sounds like a really weird yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> that would make Yakult well more interesting. Just have all that good and cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more number. Uh, 51. All the other bands playing on the same day as you at a festival pull out. What do you do? Um, well, I guess we have a much, much bigger crowd. <laughs> Why would they all put? Well, I, I, yeah, we we, we, we play. Yeah, but we definitely play. Friday becomes No Cinevases Gays Day, and all the other days become the festival days. Yeah, we just play. We just play to a really big crowd. Except you've got to ask yourself why they would all be pulling out of the festival. There must be some kind of reason. Except us. I mean, would it be our fault? Would everyone just not want to work? It would be your fault. Yeah. Yeah, eliminate the competition. You know, it's already done for you. There's no one else to play against. You don't have to worry about setting up times or set down times because you've got no other bands going on. I'd like that. No sin fest. Sin fest. <laughs> I think. I think for me, I'd probably try and just spend the rest of the day yeah, more, more inside a, a festival-wide concubine. Well, I think that would be great. That would be really horrifying. That would be amazing.
amazing. Please let's never do this. That would be amazing. If any promoters are listening, please do not do this. <laughs> we never made this come to fruition ever. That would be a great idea. I'd be, I'd be at the forefront, we'd be throwing shapes and rolling around. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, last question to finish this off. Um, what are you doing after Tech Fest? What's uh, the rest of the year got in store? Ooh, ooh. Well, um, coming up next is, is, is um, what's the festival called? Bloodstock, that's the one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fucking incredibly stoked to play Bloodstock. Um, we've got an album released on the same day that we played Bloodstock, which is our debut album, which uh, that's got really good reviews so far. Uh, Don Wilson from Metal Hammer wrote a lovely review in The Guardian, which I was rather, rather chuffed to see. So, yeah, I have high hopes for that. I guess uh, after that, we'll be touring the album. Um, hopefully, some UK, maybe European tours. Uh, a second video for another single off the album, it seems likely. And then after that, I'm not entirely... Oh, well, yeah, we got Mammoth Fest as well. Mammoth Fest, I'm so looking forward to. We've got a few more festivals this year to, to bash out. Uh, what else have we got? Headbangers Balls Headbangers in London. Balls. Yeah, yeah so once, once the summer kind of festival uh, circuit is done, it's touring and album release. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Like just playing shows here, there and everywhere, getting an name. And then, of course, we've got Domination at some point. That is on the, on the agenda. Yeah, yeah, that's there. That's there. It's, 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 in, it's in the small print. It's, it's not it's not a priority. You're working on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks a lot guys. That's brilliant. Bye.